Hey guys, welcome back to another empties video. This is going to be um, some makeup products that I've used up over the couple of weeks and I've accumulated quite a bit of them so I wanted to share them with you. So these to be quick thoughts of what I think about these products, whether I love them or whether I hate them. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I've got lots of BB creams and CC creams that I've used up over the past couple of weeks and the first one is actually my one of my favorite drugstore CC creams and this is the Bourjois Perfect 123 CC Cream. I absolutely love this CC Cream. This is one of my favorite drugstore products. I am in the shade 34 and this is just a squeezy bottle. It actually lasted me a really, really long time. Show you a little bit right there. So that's kind of how it looks like. It's very suitable for my NC40 and C44 kind of skin and um, this is the darkest shade that they have but I just really like it because it's very lightweight, it's very fuss free and I use this to go to work every day. And Next one is my all-time favorite CC cream and it is the one by Tarte. This is literally, um, I did an empties video like two months ago and I had an empties of this Tarte CC cream and now I have one more empty. I've literally used this every single day after I was done with this and within one month, this was gone because I used it every single day and it looks like that you guys if you've seen like my favorites videos or like um, my previous empties you would have known that I really like this product I already have bought one more extra one to uh, replace this one but this is just an awesome product to kind of put on your face it is really easy to put on and it is very good coverage medium to high coverage and it's just good for everyday wear and so I use this as a primer but I think it is a little bit heavy if you want to use it as a primer on its own is just perfect. BB cream is by The Body Shop and this is the all-in-one BB cream. I've had this for a while actually but um, I I don't know it's just that last last bit of the product that I just didn't want to use up and finally I've used it up under mm -hmm. shade number three and it is color adaptable so it comes out like you know like a mousse almost um, it comes out like that as you can see it's sort of like whitish and a little bit of color as you can see there mm -hmm. as you blend it into your skin it will blend it perfectly into how your skin actually looks like so a very lightweight fast free BB cream definitely go check this one out this is my favorite BB cream from the body shop range um, I I've got a deep clean makeup cleansing water from Neutrogena. This is just um, kind of my in case I need like a makeup cleansing uh, water kind of product because I usually remove my makeup with my wet wipes and then I straight away use like my um, my uh, facial foam and all that but this is really for me to use as I'm putting on makeup because sometimes when I'm doing some eye looks or whatever some might actually get over the board or I might just want to clean a particular area of my face I would use this it's very easy it's got a pump here which makes it really easy for you to just put like a, a, um, a cotton bud um, here and just clean off that area that you want to clean so this uh, is quite um, intense it does get rid of makeup including eye makeup very very easily you so up another Urban Decay the slick makeup setting spray this is also something that I had in my previous video but I have actually used it up in fact the one that I'm using at the moment is almost finishing already this something which is great if you want to set your makeup um, after you've put on all your makeup I usually do that and I got it in the oil oil control one they have different varieties for like drier skin for normal skin and all that so I really like this one I like to um, kind of spritz it on top of my beauty blender as well rather than actually squeezing it underwater because I'm lazy to go to the toilet so I guess that's why it's been finishing up really really fast the oil control film here from uh, clean and clear and this is my must-have product in my bag in my wardrobe everywhere I need to have like extra of these because I just use this to dab on my face whenever I have extra oil I don't know how I would live without this product really because my face is so freaking oily it gets oily really really easily and it just helps to kind of like pat it and I need to have extras of this all the time some so eyebrow items the first one is the elf treat and tame product and this is really something where I just use this particular end right here which is the tame part it comes in a spoolie that looks like a mascara spoolie and what it does is that I just kind of after I've actually drawn my eyebrows I've kind of filled it in I just use this and just put it in this part of the eye just to kind of put everything together and to tint it a little bit because my hair is a little bit brown 
So I use it to do that. Um, I've never used the treat part because it just makes my eyebrows look really funky and all that. But so this is gone and I haven't actually gotten around to getting this because as you know, you can't get e.l.f. Um, in Singapore. I need to go online and all that. And it's just too complicated and I have other eyebrow tints that I'm using that I'm really liking from Catrice. So uh, for now, no repurchase yet. But this is definitely one of my favourite uh, eyebrow um, sort of products and it's drugstore still. My usual silky girl uh, stuff what would an empties video be without this silky girl stuff so the eyebrow pencil which I use on a daily basis to just kind of extend my eyebrows this is the one by silky girl in dark brown so have it on my eyebrows as usual there and, and this is the one that I use to kind of fill in my eyebrows so what I do is that I, I kind of comb my eyebrows first there and then I use this other end here oops I use this other end here, which has kind of like a blunt pencil. I just use it to just kind of fill up this area here. So it just kind of um, makes my eyebrows look full and perfect. Moving on, I've got a nail polish here. Um, this one's not exactly finished. I still think I still still have a little bit of product. It's just that I'm really not in love with the colour. Um, this is the one by Sally Hansen. I did do like some nail polish um, clean up um, a couple of months ago. I have sold some of them off on Carousel and all that. I decided to keep this one for some reason just because it was a colour that I don't usually wear and I don't have in my collection. I guess that's the reason for that. This is the one in grey area. So I'm just gonna get rid of this because I just really don't like the colour. Like I've tried it a couple of times and it's just really grey and really just really dull and I know that it's definitely other people's style, like my best friend Waylin, she'll probably love this and I might actually probably give this to her uh, because it's really like still a lot of product left um, but it's just not my colour. I, I used up a couple of sunscreen and the first one is the Clarines Day Screen High Protection and this is a sample that I got from Clarines and I used this small little sample. I have to say I've kind of used it for months, like three to four to five months even. You need so little of this. I put it onto the high points of my cheeks where all the sun rays will come in and it really, really helps to kind of um, reduce the probability of sunspots actually appearing. I never, never had a problem with that. So sunscreen is really important. This one has SPF 40 and it actually has like a slight tint to it. So it's not, um, it's not completely white, um, but it does have like a very nice tint to it. And it really helps to kind of protect your skin from the sun. A good way to tell that for me personally is when I'm using a particular sunscreen and I don't see any like little little pimples, little bumps, or little sunspots or whiteheads forming on this area because this seems to be quite you know probable for the sun. I'm using this, none of that happens, so it's a good sign that it's a good um, sunscreen. The other one that I tried to use is the Spectra Band Sensitive 30 and this is a sample size which I received in one of my beauty boxes. Uh, this one I didn't really like it. Oh, this is the front actually. <laughs> um, this one I didn't really like it because it was just too heavy for me. It was completely white. I just felt like it made my face really really oily so I might give this to one of my brothers or my sister see if it works for them but um, it has SPF 30 and all that. looks uh, perfume free and all that but um, I just didn't didn't really like it. It looked very oily on my skin. And mascaras. Actually, these are sample mascaras and the first one is the Dior Addict It Lash. And I got a sample of this because I wanted to get the blue one and the blue one just kept on selling out. So the lady was like, she probably noticed how desperate I was. Uh, I ended up getting another Dior uh, mascara which she said was even better but um, she had a sample of this at the same time. So the spoolie is very very thick and it's got a lot of rouges there. Um, this one's just a very nice lengthening mascara and the reason why I say nice is because it's okay. It's not like fantastic or whatever. So I'm kind of glad that I didn't spend my money to um, get the blue one because I got the other one which she said was voluminizing and lengthening. This one's just uh, pretty much lengthening. So if you want like a decent mascara that lengthens, um, you might want to check this out. Um, the other one is the Urban Decay Perversion. And this is a very famous mascara. This I think came with, um, when I got the Urban Decay Vice 3 palette, I think I spent like a, an amount and they gave this 
this for me for free. Um, as you can see, it's very thick um, spoolie and it's got very thick product on there. So this one, compared to the uh, Dior one, this is very voluminizing. So um, it's a very nice, like very thick mascara. So if you've got already long lashes, you might want to use this to just thicken it up. As a result, I actually tended, I actually ended up using these two together. This one for lengthening and this one for, um, you know, uh, voluminizing. So they work pretty well together. But um, on their own, I wouldn't say they are that worth it. I, you know, I have like there are other drugstore mascaras that work even better i.e. the Essence mascaras. Okay, I've got a concealer here to show you and it is probably like one of the um, one of the earlier concealers which I started wearing, not this particular one, but I started using concealers. I bought this one by Bobbi Brown. Bobbi Brown's like the brand that I started off makeup with. It always will hold a special place in my heart. Um, so this is the very famous um, creamy concealer uh, duo. It comes with a concealer and a powder as well. So um, excuse the uh, <laughs> excuse the mess, but this is how it looks like. And it comes with a nice little mirror here as well. So I think in terms of compactness and packaging, it is everything. It's really, really nice. So what so you do is that you take the, um, the concealer, put it under your eyes. The concealer has a very nice orange tint to it so it will help to reduce like the dark spots very easily and then you've got this powder which you need to use a brush and then just pat it on top of the concealer before i really got into makeup i found it um quite okay um but after i've tried many many other concealers i realized that the coverage of this is not that great um if you were to watch her videos she would always say do the corrector part first so this is not the corrector part so it doesn't really just work on its own um uh, a concealer that works on its own is the benefit one that one even though you don't need a corrector it actually you know will be able to cover the dark eye circles very easily but this one you do need a corrector for it and the powder that comes with it I'm like uh, at this point I don't actually really need it because after I use my I use my um, cream products I usually just go over all over my face with a powder anyway so I really see the point of having another powder just for the concealer but however if you are a person who doesn't have too much of a problem with dark eye circles this is a great concealer it's very creamy so when you blend it onto your eyes you won't create extra wrinkles and stuff if you're not one who puts on a lot of makeup this will be very useful for you because you can just dab the powder just underneath the eyes and you know keep it fuss free like that um, a couple of lip products so oh I've got two more um, Bobbi Brown products so this first one is a um, it's a lip gloss and it's in the color aubergine uh, I again this is not something that uh, is finished well it's almost finishing uh, but okay, I just want to say that these two Bobbi Brown products, like this one, this one is also not really finishing. Well, it's almost finishing. Um, this is a lip creamy lip color in Heather Moth. But the reason why I'm getting rid of them is because they're starting to smell really funky. Like I've had this for less than a year maybe, but the lip gloss um, is very, very sticky. I don't like it. So let me just show you. This is the, um, the one in aubergine. Can you see? It's just... Yeah, it's kind of like stringy and all that and I just don't like um, the way it feels. The applicator is kind of weird. Um, yeah, I don't really like using this applicator. I don't think it's suitable for lip gloss. And um, the smell, oh my god, this too started smelling, started smelling like chemicals. I don't know why but um, yeah just something to note for Bobbi Brown like lip products and I'll speak a little bit more of this when I do my disappointing products video but yeah getting rid of that because I, I feel like if it's starting to smell like that it probably will not be good enough for you to use anymore so it's time to get rid of it. Last product is an Elizabeth Arden 8 hour lip balm and this comes in a like a really gorgeous red color packaging. I got this from my friend uh, Jenny and I used it up. I finally used it up. Okay, so when I first got this, I never actually thought much about it. I thought, okay, it's just a lip balm. I didn't really enjoy it but recently um, I've had some like problems with my lips. They became very dry and I decided to like turn to this and it really, really does work. Um, I think this is like 30-ish. A little bit expensive for a lip balm. Um, it's the 8-hour lip balm, so it's supposed to um, keep your lips protected for 8 hours. It's got SPF and all that. So it's a pretty good um, lip balm uh, and it looks really cute as well. So if you're looking for a good lip balm, I do recommend this. After I've used it, um, my lips didn't have any problems of chapping and everything. So I was quite sad when it's all finished. But I do have um, some backups that I bought from Hong Kong, which 
were a lot cheaper in Hong Kong but in Singapore I think this is like 30 ish so yeah guys that's basically the empties that I have for makeup I do have one more coming up for beauty products sort of thing so make sure you stay tuned for that and don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe till I see you guys in my next video bye